Hi, I'm standing in front of SC387, which arrived here yesterday. It is a car that is not running, and the last few days before the car arrived, I have been working on a troubleshooting manual for the injection system, for the 3.0 and the 3.9, which are different. I will describe uh, in the video now what I did with these manuals, or how I generated them. And uh, once I'm completely done, I will try my own manual on the car behind me, just to see how good the manual is, if it's complete or if it needs to be amended. But I hope once I'm done that I can supply a troubleshooting manual for the injection system for the 3.0 and the 3.9 for download from my website. And I will also put download links uh, uh, in the comment part of the video as soon as I'm ready with everything. As I said, I'm currently working on uh, making a troubleshooting manual for the injection system for the 3.0 and the 3.9. What I was doing the last uh, few days is converting one diagram to look like the other. Uh, the reason is that people don't have to think their way through to very different wiring diagrams, especially for, for if a shop, for example, or a person who owns more than one bidet is working on a 3.0 and a 3.9. I did want the wiring diagram look the same. What I had was uh, this diagram from a early 3.0 and the problem was that the wiring diagram that I had for the 3.9 looked like this. And um, you once again have to think your way through it and I didn't like that. So what I was trying to do is uh, spend a total of one and a half days on Photoshop and then uh, generate a wiring diagram from this that looks like the other. Uh, so this is the result. This is the 3.0 that I have just shown you. You still see the um, the resistors here they have resistors in front of the uh, uh, injection valves because uh, they can handle the full 12 volt and then let's change to the 3.9 which i'm switching over to now so this now is the wiring di diagram of the 3.9 made to look like the 3.0 diagram so once again the Resistors are gone here. They are directly connected to the to the relay, and also I've added two components. Um, this is the oxygen sensor, and this is the ref limiter relay because 3.9s in the US have 3.45 to one rear axle ratio, which is the same as a three liter. And if you give it the beans, the 3.9 will will explode because it will over rev it. In Germany, they run on a, on a three, 3 3.15 to 1 ratio, which is longer, and then you don't need the rev limiter relay. Anyway, so in the US, we have this rev limiter re relay here. This is also the reason why, when I showed you in that one video on the green car, that you can run the fuel pump by deflecting the airflow sensor flap. This does not work on the 3.9 because of this relay, but I will find a way to run the pump to verify that without crawling under the car. I haven't figured that out yet, but it's it's gonna work. I'm thinking about disconnecting this line in the uh, football where the ECU is, and then put 12 volt to this line and the pump should run. Anyway, so that's what I've been doing. And then um, what I also did was changing the flow chart. Some things are the same. So these steps is the same uh, are the same as on the 3.0. So are these and um, others change. For example, this one I will have to change. And then also uh, this I already have changed. That looked different originally in the 3.0 diagram. That was uh, this. So here you have, uh, you test different, always uh, you test in pairs to um, uh, injection valves. And on the 3.9, you don't need it because you can test every 
uh, well, individually because you don't have these. And then I generated this diagram instead, where you just have that one pin 29 and yet then you test them through 15, 33, 32, 14, 30, and 31, one, uh, cylinder 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Anyway, so that's what I'm working on. And then there is uh, two versions of this because you might either have the wiring harness in the, in the car and then the way you do the testing, going back to the wiring harness, uh, the wiring diagram, you sit in the car, you have the ECU plug in your hand. It has a longer end with 18 pins and a shorter one with only 17 pins. And then uh, the flowchart tells you which pins to connect to your ohm meter or voltmeter and uh, what you should see in terms of ohm, ohms or voltage. And so this would be with the wiring harness installed in the car. But if you have taken it out to do some repairs, which is a lot easier if you take it, to have it taken out because I am 62 years old now and my back hurts just by thinking of working on a wiring harness in the car. So if you have taken it out, you would do, take another approach. You would go to first of all test the relay and I have put a lot of testing steps here to connect to see if your relay is okay you need a 12 volt source and um, and that is it and then you can just go to the pins and hear the relay click or not click and see continuity in certain places or not so this is to check your relay and then I have also colorized the wiring diagram if you have the harness on your table so then you just need to verify continuity between pins of the plug and another end of the wiring harness and to make this easier I have uh, colorized this so these are all the ground lines that way is a bit less confusing and then this would be airflow meter that is um, uh, up here the red lines and the uh, uh, throttle position sensor which is the blue lines or uh, the next one would be the testing uh, the auxiliary air valve and the temperature sensor. Temperature sensor is here, blue lines again. Uh, auxiliary air valve is here with the, with the red lines. And then these are the injection valves. This is the uh, easier version with the um, from the 3.9 where they just directly connected while on the 3.0 it looks like this because you have these resistors here. So that's that's a bit more complicated. But anyway, I did the colors just to make it a bit easier to follow the wiring diagram. And here is the bit that goes across the uh, back of the engine along the firewall that I keep mentioning in the videos. You have the red and black wire that goes to the starter signal, basically that that tells the that is uh, powered when the starter is operating. And then these are the other three. That need to be connected and this is battery plus that's basically the main supply for the for the whole injection system it goes through the injection relay this is the injection relay this relay that i was showing before and those relays too are different on the 3.0 and the 3.9 so after that we have um on the 3.0 i just show all the uh, lines going away from the relay again and they are sorted uh, red and blue and they correspond to these two plugs. One of them has a, um, a blue line that's the uh, fuel pump line going into the plug and these are the blue wires in the in the drawing and the other one are the red lines in the drawing. And then lastly, on the 3.9, I'm going to switch over now. You also have, you want to see if you have the right voltages uh, and ohms on your uh, oxygen sensor. And just also shows the line that go, that only concern the ref limiter relay here. So that's what I'm going to do. And I will uh, get back to you and uh, try it out on SC387 that arrived yesterday to see if I could get it running just by using my own troubleshooting chart. Thanks for watching and see you next time.